So it's mid-April now and the, uh, the voiling, the winter flowering heath, is still in full flower and uh, Erica erigena, the Irish heath, has some promising looking buds on but is uh, not quite there yet. And where do these names come from? Well, with the common names, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? The winter flowering heath flowers in the winter, and uh, Erica erigena, the Irish heath, is found in Ireland. It's not quite as simple as that, though. For example, the Irish heath is also a name for an entirely different species and a different genus, Dabwitia cantabrica. And Dabwitia cantabrica has a different common name, St. Dabwex heath. So the same common name can mean different plants and the same plants can, be, can have different common names and that's just in one language. Common names differ, of course, between different languages. So for Erica carnea we have Vorling and we have the winter flowering heath uh, and, and so on and so on. With the scientific name, everybody knows what they're talking about. Now these are based in botanical Latin and uh, a well-chosen scientific name can be extremely informative as well about the plant. The epithet erigena basically means Irish. The epithet carnea means flesh-coloured, which refers to the flowers, which are a kind of flesh-coloured pink. That in itself is not terribly unusual for a heather. Uh, they often have flowers in different shades of pink and Erica carnea itself comes in a full range of colours through from white to deepest pink. Different colours have been selected as cultivars and are on display here in the Arboretum and not only are there a range of flower colours, there are a range of colours of foliage as well with golden foliage ones and even darker purple leaved variants. Erica carnea is low growing and it stays that way and this is a, an adaptation to uh, its uh, early flowering time. It, it can tolerate a layer of snow on top even when in full flower. The same is not true of Erica erigena. As we can see here, Erica erigena is a rather bushier, can even form an almost tree-like stature. And this, uh, this is the, the main difference between these two species, in fact. If you have a herbarium specimen, a flowering branch pressed flat on a piece of paper, it is very difficult to tell these apart. And for this reason, some scientists have um, considered Erica erigena to just be a, a kind of ecological variant of Erica carnea, one which is not adapted to growing, uh, to flowering in snow. However, if we compare the molecules, compare the, the DNA sequences of these two species, it becomes clear that they, although they are uh, closely related one to another, that the common ancestor of these two species diverged millions of years ago.